Hello everyone and welcome back to Oak Street City Zoo. Today on a wonderful Monday we are back in the zoo and I have actually done something already in advance to this episode. So as promised we made a little leap forward. I'm sorry that the episode wasn't released yesterday. Um, there are many reasons for why and I'm going to talk about them in a second. But first of all we are going to check what's going on here and also thank you guys as always uh, so much for tuning in. So as um, it is always if you guys enjoy the content and you want to help me out growing this channel please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I still see that little number of so many people actually not being not being subscribed even though they, they watch a lot, but I've also heard that a lot of people don't really own a YouTube account, so, well, it is what it is. I just wanted to quickly tackle on that. Um, yeah, today we are going to check that we make sure our animals all thrive and live good, but also we will look at what I have done. And this is the relocation of the lions is already nearly done. But I wanted to, you know, take you with me on this little journey before we, we are fully done. So you can actually see this is the lion habitat I prepared. Um, there is not yet a full habitat, so we have to do this. And you can see this little corner over here is also um, in the making. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a little uh, trade center down here. Um, let me just see that we get the trade center down. I think we should be able to just place it here awesome so that they don't really need to walk that far i'm gonna just quickly put the game on play and we are going to wait for the next day well actually it is the next day we are just waiting until the light is going a little bit better and also check in if all our animals doing good let's quickly say hello to all the people Okay, so while I'm doing this and checking everything is running well, here's the little topic why I didn't release this episode yesterday. So, as you guys may have known uh, or may have seen already, my channel is not doing um, that well at the moment. In fact, let's face it, the channel is doing pretty, pretty bad. But this is, you know, by no means a bad thing or whatever. I mean, for the moment it kind of seems, but it's totally... Um, there's an explanation for that and the explanation basically is the focus on Planet Zoo solely and Planet Zoo lacking, well, excitement, I want to call it at the moment. It's, you know, I'm still very happy for every single one of you who are... Whoa, 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 wait, what's that? Oh, that's a balloon. Balloon, pop it. Okay. Um, at the moment, I can definitely understand if people you know, are not as excited about the game anymore and don't look so much for it, um, especially on YouTube, simply because, you know, I think I can actually tell that many people who play it as me um, are still pretty much stuffed with a lot of content and stuff you can do because, you know, the creativity in this game is endless and you can do whatever you want. But if you are more on the casual side, and to be honest, that's the majority of the people that want to play it as a zoo game, as it's supposed to be, they are obviously lacking a lot of things. Um, and I'm really hoping that uh, the wonderful team of Frontier can finally do it and uh, bring some new content soon. It's a little bit of a bummer still that we don't have anything about an anniversary update, which again is a little bit of a bummer, but it, you know, it is what it is and we have to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we will now, um, today, continue with this park and let me just finish off the explanation. This is the reason why I wanted to make sure that on the weekend I have also different content for you. So I made the Among Us coaster, I made the Among Us uh, best of video, you've got the planet coaster making off of the Among Us coaster. I mean, surely you can definitely tell that people are even less interested in that, but I really would love to enforce you or uh, reinforce you to go over and check this content out as well. I, you know, I put a lot of love and effort into these things as well, um, as much as in Zoo, and I really always want to, you know, make the best of it just for you guys so you can enjoy the content, no matter if it's Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster or any other game. So yeah, if you want to do me a favor, just jump over and, and help out on that. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, because it, it really does help, to be honest, to just also, you know, show some show some love for the other uh, games as well. I mean, even Planet Coaster is quite a little bit old, but I think due to the release of the console version, uh, we should be we should be good soon. Now you can see, um, Finance is not doing too well right now, but um, I played it a lot on pause uh, recently, so that's why we lost a little bit of stuff. And um, I have to figure out how we can... Yeah, that's the that's the vending stuff. So did they actually feed them by now? Because I really have the feeling that they didn't. Uh, wait, where are the? There we go. This is the. No, that's not the exhibit. Where's the exhibit area? Oops. This is the. There we go. This is the exhibit area. So oh yeah, he's he's basically. Okay. Well, what about just taking a break then? You know what we do? I'm gonna. No, I I I'm gonna. Uh, you are already an expert. 
Support doing higher salary. Okay, 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 okay. Well, never mind then. As long as you fed them, it's all fine. Okay, let's go over to our lions and finally do the habitat. I have it on pause because we will eventually make a play at the end of this episode to bring people over. But my, my idea now is, and I really do hope that this works out, I mean, the problem will be, and you can actually tell this from over here already, they will be able to just jump in the water and swim, since lions can. And the reason I'm, you know, I'm trying to first of all come up now with a design that we can put a chain link in the water, which they cannot break or jump over, it's just to make sure that they do not escape. So I'm just going to direct that through the water and just making sure that they will not be able to escape while maintaining a as much of a natural look as we can do. So just bringing it all over and then I think we just go that route over here just all the way back around. And then we also have something in the back I prepared. This is a viewing gallery of the little cave. I'm going to show this to you in a bit of more of a detail in a second and just cross the way over here. And just go all the way around. I really hope they cannot really jump onto the rocks too much. Um, on this side, it's all fine. I think this is where they cannot really escape. And then over here, we should actually be back in business with our chain link fence. Hopefully that's gonna work out exactly how I wish it should. Um, so just following this line over here in the waters. I mean, I would love that, that they just cannot escape on the other side, but I'm quite sure they will be able. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just going to go for the safe route at the moment. Um, there you go. And connect this straight over here. I'm not doing it right now. So I'm first of all bringing the lines in and see where they can escape so that we do not just do this, you know, link already. Um, but we will, we will see in a bit. So let's just grab our lions and... Uh, wait, that's... I Can we just have no filter in my... It's not even in mine. No, 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 no. Wait a second. That's not my storage. That was the market. Why is it this bug always? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we, we are going to bring in back our lions. Hello. Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Okay, let's bring her back in. Longevity is not good with Delilah, but it's fine. Wait. How and why? Uh, okay, that was weird. But it's fine, I guess. Then we have uh, Ch Chuyoki. Chuyoki. I have no idea if that, that name is right, how I pronounce that, but it's okay. Um, and then we have um, Abayomi. Abayomi is also going in. And then we also have quite a lot of lions, to be honest. Uh, Sibongil. She's about to die anyways, but okay. So who's who's in there as well? We've got uh, Chipu and Tabia as well. I'm going to bring them all in. And as people said, okay, pe uh, you know, animals in here still... Uh, do consume food, so it's better to not unless have them stored in the trade center. Now we have to hit play. While we do so, we can already put in uh, some enrichment items before they come. And since I really want to make them go everywhere, I'm first of all t putting down some uh, blood enrichment stuff, you know, so that this will guide them wherever they go. I'm gonna give them a few, few boxes to play with, um, I guess because they like it. And then, well, was there already someone delivered? I heard the box. No, that just, it isn't, okay. So I'm gonna put some bedding down, obviously, uh, on top of here as well. Um, let's put down the large bedding. Actually, we can go with the extra large one and just make this whole thing filled with it. Just a few little bits and pieces shall be open in the middle, but that should be fine. We can actually have this like so. I think I like that a lot more. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so we've done this and um, can we also have like, okay, let's just disable the blueprints. We've definitely a scratching post that goes to the front here. I mean, you know, viewing wise, we will do a little bit with the guests, but for the moment that should be fine. It's gonna have a scratch post here and the restraint feeder. Where can we put that one? I think I love to have that up here. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's, it should be pretty easy for the uh, keepers to get there. So there's like plenty of space in here for the big for the big group of lions. I wonder where and why they're not delivering. Because there's definitely everything connected over here. And they should be easily able to bring them over. Are they in transit already? Let's have a quick look. Because I am confused now. Where are my lions? Lions, where are you? Oh, look at that. We have to, uh, can we just 
quickly do this because that's gonna create some issues otherwise. Oh, look at them. There are two of them already pregnant again. So, oh, three of them are pregnant. That is not good. Okay, so at least we can bring those back to the trade center. Yes. All right. So it's not really what. Look at the look at the hippo. It's under water, having good time. Baby hippo up there as well. Good. Okay. So let's go back to the zoo and have a look. What's going on? Oh, the lines are delivered. There you go. I don't even need to look any further. Right. <laughs> the, the big boy is just sleeping already. Um, I love that they're just going over first. Um, that just kind of gives me an idea. Okay, let's have a look quickly. So, uh, the front is pretty damn good already. Oh my, I mean, look at, look at this. If we just push that back, that should be better. Then we have a slightly little issue over here. I think I can jump there. That should not be big of a deal. We just put another rock over there. And yes, I mean, of course, this is the this is the problematic bit, but that can be dealt with. And the rest is pretty much fine. Okay, so this should be an easy fix. Okay, let's go first of all and edit the barrier. That's the first thing we need to do. So I guess um, it might be easy just to... Well, actually, if, if that's really the thing, we are just going to bring... Oh, can I have this thing? Okay, let's move it all out. And then if they really cannot climb out of this area, which I am pretty excited about to see that this really doesn't work. But um, so if they, I mean, will they be able to swim in there? That's the quite of the, the important question I would have over there. But uh, who knows? I'm just gonna move it a bit more out. Yeah, maybe that's already enough. We'll have a look into this. So this is this side. And then we'll go over to that side. And what we will do over here is just making sure that this is all chain link or steel mesh. It's climbable, but that one is climbable too. So I'm gonna go over this chain link, I guess, for the moment. And then we'll drop it down. I mean, since they swim, they should not be able to jump over. Let's do it that way. That's fine. And then this little bit over here, I think this is where they could have jumped on, right? So let's just go in and give this bit a little bit of a rocky barrier, I guess is the right word here. So there you go. Okay, let's have a little look into how they react to this change. Maybe maybe the line can jump over. Oh, that looks pretty much as if it can. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna have to edit this barrier real quick. Just make that all the way up here. And then we can drag that one up as well, just like this. And then we can drag that one a little bit down. That should be fine. Let's have a look if there was any other complaint. Ooh, okay. So this side is all good then, but that side isn't at all. Can it still jump over there? Let's have a look. Let's kind of recalculate. Yeah, well, there's still... Oh, because it can climb. But... Okay, well, this is just simply because of being a chain link fence. Makes sense. Um, that is not high enough, I guess, over here. So that's why they might be able to still get out of here. Yeah, they can just still kind of swim over. But it's okay. We're just going to raise this a little bit then. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we're going to make this all a little bit higher. Something like that. And this is going to be like a solid wall. I'm just going to raise it all. I don't know. Just making sure it doesn't... Uh, allow them to escape. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a look. That looks all pretty promising. And then we have this bit over here, which we still need to figure out. Okay. Well, I think it should not be too difficult to just, you know, kind of create something like that. A three-ish rock phase and then just put something else in there. So it doesn't really look too weird. Should be all good. All right. Let's have a little... Let's have a little look if it works better now. Looks kind of kind of promising. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. They can actually swim over here and then not further. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have this bit over here just as something they can they can live in and just walk over. This was exactly the idea. So space-wise, they should be all good, right? Yeah. I mean, look at the plants cover just nearly done. Let's have a look if we find any kind of weird plants from F. Africa grassland that we can put in here to make it all look a bit better. So let's go to biome. Let's say uh, Grassland continent Africa, right? There is no bamboo. Yeah, 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 I know 
Um, let's get rid of the blueprints. Good. I mean, I love, I still love this baobab tree, but it just doesn't fit in this biome. So, yeah, it's, it's a no. This tree always is nice, so I'd love to have a tree like that in here as well. But I think it's gonna calculate quite a bit in terms of... Oh, that worked actually pretty fine, so that's good. And then we have this tree, which I'd love to have somewhere over here in the back, I guess. Just to get some more trees in. There you go, 20% is fine. We have some more of those trees, right? So let's just get a smaller one there. Still good. Lovely. And then we can have just some common reed. Let's put these bigger bubbles of common reed down here. Just to make sure it looks a bit better. Yay. That should be fine. That should be fine. 20 ish percent is good. That's all good. They are having too less short grass. Well, that's that's an easy fix. Too much soil, too less of that. So we're just going to kind of bring that in. There you go. It's already fixed. What's going on with the multiple animal welfare issues? Oh, well, actually, I think this is just because you guys are having offspring, right? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, let's select all those two not and then back to trade center lovely cool okay i did a little bit of a break now um so that we can build actually the uh, viewing galleries for the people and what i want to do um this is the time where we break up with the straight pathing over here because that is um has been very nice it's like a very central pathway to lead all the way to the lions um which is a bit of a problematic thing in terms of i kind of lose a bit of potential because the people will go to the lines eventually like all the way down here they have seen them and they can basically go all the way back so what I would need to do is kind of make sure to have like for example just delete this connection over here and then make them go to the left and to the right to explore the zoo but this is something we are going to look in later on um, for now I'm just willing to create a little bit of a more you know swooping path that just leads around and I mean since this area over here is not meant to be seen anyways and we are just going to bring it all the way to the back side because this is where they can have a little glimpse into this and then we are also going to create this connection over here um, simply because I want to make sure that we have a little bit of a plaza where, oops, where you can also get some food over here so this is very important that we will grab uh, get some food and since this backside area is existing uh, we basically will put the food just over here okay so that the people will have a reason to go and take this path and the middle can actually be uh, a little seating area for the people so why not but before we do so we are going to throw in obviously a lot of bins and uh, donation boxes and stuff like that so this is going to be one of the main viewing points then you have like a secondary viewing point over here, which uh, I have to get rid of some of the stones, um, since that makes sense. We'll put a lot of foliage in the middle here so that they potentially cannot look through. And then we have another viewing access all the way to the back here. I think at this point we can already put down the lion. Um, this is going to be, noops, uh, deforestation. And then we have also the education speaker, which is going to be West African Lion as well. And just going to increase the volume a little here. We've got a Savannah speaker over there as well. Lovely. And um, yeah, I think we just need to put down some education boards now. I think we do have some good ones in the zoo. We just scroll around. Is there any we can just grab? I think I'm... Yeah, there you go. This is the one I was looking for. Hey, no, no, no. Give me the whole thing. There you go. I'm gonna put this down just over here. There's a nice one going down here. And the... Wait, I just can only... So stupid of me. And the other one just goes here. Great. And then I'm just gonna delete those things here. Yeah, that's fine. That's enough. So, you are going to... Uh, yeah. You have no power. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You'll, you'll get power eventually. Let me just have a look why. Power, please. Oh, man. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. Um, as soon as we go further to the left, we shall be able to change it a little bit again. So let's do the African lion again, West African lion. Yeah, look, I like how this turns out a lot. Okay, so what we will do now 
we'll first of all go in and uh, I mean we'll need the Oak Street Zoo is the Oak Street Zoo because the Oak Street Zoo has some oak you know and that's why we're putting down a few more oak trees here and there just to make sure that this fits this area quite well it's gonna have some some saplings as well some smaller ones um, in here just gonna have another one here this might grow in the future okay um, I still don't want to have people stand over here so we have to block the view even further than that uh, which yeah I don't know how exactly we'll do this but this is closer so I'm really hoping that they use automatically the area where they can stand closer um, yeah I'm not I'm not super sure if they will but I'm just hoping that this will lead to the fact that they will do it but I'm I'm, I'm not sure in general I'm just going to put down some foliage here and then just hoping that there is enough of a of a block for them to uh, not look into this yeah I've no I've, I've no clue actually if that will helps I can just try to make like an, a hatch with those things I quite like the idea to have like a bit of a hatch there you know kind of not giving them too much views through here I'm not sure if that even works to be honest uh, because people I think people can look through foliage which again is a little bit of an unfortunate thing uh, they shouldn't they, sh they simply shouldn't be able to do so but uh, the game uh, yeah just decides differently so I'm gonna have like some some of those trees in here as well because honestly we are still in a European zoo so we're gonna have these pines as well and we've got the common ash tree as well a good old one just gonna be in here lovely just making sure that this is covered in foliage a bit nicer and you have a reason to go around. Cool. Okay, so we've done that and now let's uh, put down some facilities from our blueprints again. I think, you know, you guys know that there are so many things you guys always deliver and I love them. What is this, by the way? Oh, wait. No. Just no. This is the camel shelter. We don't need that over here. I just need to see if there's any kind of building I can use for the shops by now because I've used quite a lot of shops already. I like this one, but it's not exactly the one I want. This is like the restroom area I like. Um, I, you know, I just don't want to use all the same all over. Uh, this is a half dome by Domo. Oh God, this is just very impressive and nice looking, but I just can't use that one. This one is also incredibly nice designed. But again, I, I, I don't really know if I, 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 I don't think I can use that one. What's that though? These are, sh okay, a set of shelters by Andal. Um, many good things. Tim Horton's shops, I love this. The question is, can we, okay, so the problem about this is, does it also have an interior? I love the fact it has. The shop itself looks really cool um, and I'd love to be able to put it down here. Can I? I mean, there was like a split second where it worked, right? I mean, yeah, but the, just overall, I think the only only field I could put it down would be here. Okay, you know, that doesn't work here, but I'm, I'm really looking into this one because it's looking really cool. Um, the running camel, what's that? Is that a, is that a shop? There is stuff in there, I guess. Let's have a quick look what is in here. Oh, there are there are shops in. So I'd love to have them. I'd love to have them over here. Why not? Can I just... Um, if I am able to bring this all the way back to here, we can basically just use it. I mean, why not? That's kind of cool. Path grid reference piece, delete after placing path. Yeah, I know. And right over, yeah, 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 that, that's that's nice. Um, we are just going to do, do, wait, am I in the right group? Not, oh, wait, oh, what am I even doing? So yeah, I'm gonna delete this, lovely. Um, use shop grid area, yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will. Let me just delete, connect grid areas. I'm going to do this myself now. <laughs> I just hope it works, but 
you know, what we have to do now is obviously start the path from over here, yes. Let me just say no to this and then uh, we definitely need to go with like a two meter one. Wait, no. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. And then we'll do exactly this. Hey, 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 hey. Just do... I wonder though if I do say align to grid now, just kind of works. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. So, oh, this is why we need to align over there. It just doesn't, why doesn't it work? Okay, I mean, I don't want, I don't, okay, it's because of the buildings in the back. I mean, it's fine, I guess. So, just going to, it just works fine. I only have the problem that they do connect, obviously. So, I have no clue how exactly I would fix it, but okay. So, let's have a look if we can, oh yeah, we can. So that's easy, uh, e easy enough. And then there you go, that's easy enough too. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's have a look and delete this and then we can delete all the, all the pieces down here. Yeah, the only question obviously that remains is what we are going to do with this connection because obviously like they, I mean, the only chance we would have is to kind of, yeah, I think this is what we do. Now, as this is all connected, um, we are basically just deleting this and this piece. Lovely. And then what we will do, yeah, exactly. This is what I hope would happen. And then I'm going to also delete this piece. And now I'm gonna straighten this up and then I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. And then I could also do this, but I'm not gonna connect those two, right? And what we have to do as well, to make it just a bit more nice, no, 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 we are going to, yeah, no, I mean, just bring that straight, it doesn't matter. And then we are going to connect this, and nope, um, we can just leave it as it is there, and then we are going to delete this and this piece over there, yeah, no, that's perfect, cool, uh, we, we just are not able to... Oh, well, let me just, so wait, that works. So I'm actually, I'm questioning if that works now, can I align this back to the grid now? No, can I align this to this grid? No, let's have a little look again. So I can not align to any of those, okay? But I, what I can do is this over here, right? It smoothed out, I'm okay, I'm, I'm not caring too much for what is, oops, uh, what is going on here now. But um, yeah, we'll just put some flowers in, flower beddings, and that should be fine. So let's quickly do it. Uh, nature. God, this is such a such a very very productive episode, guys. I'm I'm quite astonished. Okay, let's just pop this down here. It doesn't really matter, you know, as long as it's below the curb. Which in this in this specific case, the curb is actually fine. Also, you know, we can even do this in the internal as well. And then we're just going to plop some flowers down. We can, in this case, also have some tropical ones. Why not have another one here? For the outside, we're just going to use like some fern, lady fern over here, right? Let's do this. And then can we have something else like a nicer flowers over here? So like that, I guess, I guess that's nice. And then, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's put it that way. And then what's that? Is that actually a staff room? I love the fact that we do have a staff room over here, but we also have like another one over there. So facility has no power. No, it has power. That's fine. So we're going to connect this to the path over here. Um, if I would get that. Thank you. Can I just not? Okay, I wonder why it's, you know, what do we do? We'll just delete this thing. I mean, I love the fact that we do have a staff room here, um, but in fact, it would be even nicer to connect it right to the backside here, right? I mean, they can just go around, but that's super inefficient. I'm just wondering if we can somehow connect this to the backside. Um, but just like we, we have those things here, they jump out of here, then could direct, yeah. I mean, this could work. Um, that's stupid AF. But what we could do, we could just put this, oops, this wall 
goes here and then just delete this and we're gonna put like another wall here um we're going to delete this path no one needs this one but if they would be able to just go out here you know and that's what we do just gonna connect the staff path just goes all the way here and now we have some space you know what we can do we can just you know delete these two walls and then just move that one over have another window here just delete that one um copy this over make some more walls whatever that's not needed but okay um, and then we're just going to delete this copy this one over uh, we can keep that gate why not it's not looking too bad and then we're just going to well connect this lovely and then we are going to connect this but eventually we'll need the yeah staff path awesome so I think that's a cool idea because we later on we can just you know create a, a roof and then it looks like a perfect backstage area just as we liked it and um, it's connected over here right so yeah what we need to do quickly and then today's episode is already done we just need to put a door in I'm gonna make like the double the double door here just having a look if that's yeah yeah no that's connecting perfectly lovely and again we've used something from you guys in a very very cool and efficient way i love that okay so you know what we have to do now we have to hit play and then we'll have to see that these three people who should work here which don't i guess would they, did they just all go here already no okay but what we have to do um do we have still some vendors open let's have a look if there is so first of all we are going to create a new work zone and this is all lion's corner right so we have to go and bring one okay so we have one vet okay so one two and three and four you are going to go to the lion's corner all right see you there let's see do we have like a still like a keeper yes okay you are going to work in the lion's corner now that means we have no other keeper anymore right i am i'm not sure if we shall put down even more keepers now but who knows um have you done keeper cannot reach up your zone setup okay because we have none in here right this is the okay well whatever so we are going to employ a new keeper and another new keeper animal has escaped oh my lord which animal has escaped how okay no one knows i think it just glitched out um okay so we we fixed this okay that means because it was no one set to a zone the snow leopard has no zone is that correct because if so we need to fix that um staff work zones let's have a look no that doesn't look like we have what is that zone okay that's like no zone okay let's create a new work zone and this is going to be not in any work zone look at that okay so this is a good hint um the Komodo dragons and those two habitats are not in the zone. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, yeah. Let's call this Snow Leopard and what? Hawks, I guess. Southern Cavalry is having problems. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look into this as soon as I've done that. But I, first of all want to upgrade you and you are going to go to the newly created snow leopard and warthogs lovely so we have one jumper and um yeah well if that's a that's a problem to you guys i'm going to uh, sell you both yep lovely and also exhibit trading needs to have some animals right they're all in here um no, that's my storage select all and quick trade confirm lovely and now let's have a quick last look into our animal situation yeah god okay so it's still very nice oh uh. okay um that's fine center trade center yes what's going on here 
Promise and Black Bear also. Okay, 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 okay. We are going to release you two to the wild. I hope you were the younger ones. That looks good. If not, well, we have an issue, but I think it's fine. Um, good. Fix that as well. Guys, this is uh, the end of today's episode. I think... We can be very, very happy with... Oh no, it's about to snow. Oh, no, no, no. And I didn't even take a screenshot. Not my favorite situation ever. Um, I would love to just be able to create a wonderful screenshot out of that. But it seems that the snow is coming into, into play now. But okay. So, well, if the snow is coming into play, by the way, let's just quickly drop down a heater uh, in, this, in this area. So we need... Hopefully it's going to have energy one uh, especially over here needs to be a heater two it's like a huge habitat to be heated so we are going to have some in there another one goes up here and all the way in the back okay that's going to be important now as it snows but yeah guys i'm really happy and i think we just made a really great leap forward in terms of the zoo in general um the only problem we'll face is obviously um yeah the overall uh, happiness of the guest and the money management and whatnot but i think now having the lion in in such a huge wonderful habitat as a um i, I think it's a very good continuation of the story of the zoo like having started as a very tight little city zoo very space efficient making the habitats all um, be very small and just the size we need them to be oh god there you go now we are in august and having snow in the middle of europe and now we've got the world yeah no we end this here i don't want to do this guys because that's not good for you guys but i really hope you enjoyed today's episode i certainly did enjoy it a lot if you guys want to keep supporting me as always you know just leave me a subscribe if you haven't already and also one more very important thing is um i'm going to live stream tonight again i will be on my twitch channel doing some minecraft together with uh two new people and um then later on tonight or tomorrow i'm not exactly sure when we will play some live among us here on the channel on youtube streaming on youtube live if you want to take part jump down in the description below give uh, the wonderful discord a little bit of love just jump in there be in the among us thread and then we're gonna play together some among us and i'm gonna really look forward to that other than that have a wonderful week stay safe everyone make sure to look after all your beloved ones and we are going to see each other talk to each other in the next one goodbye everyone